everyone, I'm Len Wolston. I'm a writer, blogger, and nerd, and thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're going to be doing the AuthorTube Newbie Tag 2.0. If you have been following my journey for some time, you'll know that there was an AuthorTube newbie tag that was the original that was created by Jenna Streety, and that was actually the first video I uploaded on my YouTube channel. So I'll put a link down below in the description box if you wanna go check that one out and you can get a nice dose of awkwardness to see how I am. But we're going to be doing the updated version that is also by Jenna Streety, and I will also link her channel down below so that you can check her out. All right, so question number one, what's your book's pitch? If you have multiple works, choose your favorite. I'm gonna go with my most current manuscript, which is a young adult contemporary that is called Shut the Punk Up, and the pitch is, to prove her ex-boyfriend and his band wrong, Kira assembles an all-girl punk band to crush the boys in an epic battle of the bands, but falling for the lead guy of a competitor's band wasn't part of the plan. Question number two is, if you were a book, how would you pitch yourself? I would say, one nerdy writer mom sets off on a journey to write all the stories she'd love to read and get them into the hands of eager readers, or something like that. Question number three, what do you usually write? I usually write sci-fi and fantasy, but as of late I've been kind of tipping my toes into writing young adult contemporary stories, which I found that I really enjoy doing. So I guess with me what you can expect from my stories is you're going to find that my leading ladies always like to save themselves in the story, and then I also have a lot of nerdy boys who are there to support them and just crush on them. Question number four, what's something you'll never write? Well, to be honest, I never thought I was going to be writing contemporary stories, but here I am. I will say that probably something, I'll say probably not right, because the never is something that I'm finding I can't say with certainty. So I probably won't be writing women's fiction. That is very much like a show like um, the Bachelor or The Bachelorette because truth be told, I've never seen a single episode of either of those. I know, I live under a rock. Question number five, what's your goal for starting an AuthorTube channel? My goal when I started my channel a little over a year ago was that I just wanted to be able to be part of a writing community that is all about uplifting people, encouraging people, getting information out there as to how the whole publishing world works. It also for me personally was a great avenue to just kind of talk about my writing, to kind of just give this journey of what has been my personal journey as to getting the words on the page to publication. So it also has provided me a really great resource to be able to kind of practice speaking in front of people. And I know it's a camera, but there are people watching it. So just having that has really boosted my confidence and I just love that I'm able to talk about my writing on this platform. Number six, what made you want to start writing? I know this is gonna sound very cliche, but I'm gonna go with that I didn't choose writing, writing chose me, because at a very young age, I was making up stories like all the time. And so I think it was just something that was ingrained in me as to who I am as a person. But I will say that what got me to take my writing seriously, to want to pursue it as a career, was I was finding that this was what I was supposed to do. Like I am put on this earth to be a writer and I finally had this like breakthrough moment like years ago where I was like, why did I waste so much of my life not pursuing writing as a career? And I finally made that distinction that it's like, okay, you only live once and you have one shot. And so what I wanna do is I wanna pursue the heck out of making writing my career and that's currently what I'm doing. Question number seven, what's your publishing path? I right now am on the path to publication in terms of traditionally getting published. And so I have written other manuscripts. I have been in the query trenches. I have received form rejections. I have received requests for partials and fulls and everything. 
and I am just sticking with it and knowing that one of my stories is going to catch me that agent that I'm looking for that I want to have a working relationship with in an effort to get my stories published at one of the big publishing houses. Question number eight, what content do you bring to the author tube table? If you watch all of my videos, you'll see that I kind of give just feedback and just kind of tutorials or tips and tricks as to writing and the craft of writing, but I also kind of give you updates as to where I am as a writer, what I'm currently working on, where I am in the process and everything. So you kind of get a dose of like, here is what worked for me as a writer and how I think you should be able to implement those strategies. But then also like, here's where I'm currently at as a writer so that you can kind of feel like, hey, I am in there with you when it comes to the query trenches or to celebrate all the small little things that author life is about so that you kind of get a blend of like how to's, but then also just kind of vlogs. Question number nine, what's your biggest writing struggle? I think this is something that a lot of writers who are seeking traditionally published and I mean even self-publishing kind of face and I struggle with the patience aspect of it. I have to remind myself that you know there is a time and a place for everything that happens in life and in publishing what it really comes down to is you can write the best book out there but it all comes down to luck and timing and so having just to practice that patience to know okay I have to wait for my time is something that is my hardest struggle but I'm working on it question number 10 what's your best writing skill this is really hard to like pick something and be like, yeah, I'm the best at it because I mean, I'm still growing as a writer. I can say though that I've had several people comment on like my ability to plot stories and just like the outlining process when it comes to kind of getting a story concept idea. Like I have so many and they just click like right away. And so people when they read my work, they'll be like, how did you come up with this? This is such a unique story. And like I know that there's nothing new under the sun, but I kind of take pride in the fact that I'm able to just like have these story ideas and I just have so many backlogged in my brain that I'm trying to just churn out as quickly and efficiently as possible because yeah, I love creating story ideas. All right, so the next question you get to pick between whether or not you've been on AuthorTube for a while or if you're new. So because I've been on here for just a little bit, I'll go with if you've been on YouTube for a while, what's your best AuthorTube tip? I would say find your people. Like I know that a lot of other people probably say that, but you'll find that within the AuthorTube community, when it comes down to it, the bulk of us are all about supporting and encouraging. And it comes down to, you will find that there are some people that you click with and that's where you can find your critique partners, your beta readers, but find your people and stick with them because you'll find that the author tube community is growing steadily and so it gets so big to where you're like, wow, I didn't even know there were so many people, but you'll find ones that you just click with and those are the ones you really wanna stick with because writing can feel very lonely, but it doesn't have to be because there are people out there who are wanting to support and encourage you. All right, so next question is, are you looking for any new channels to follow, betas, CPs, or other types of writer buddies? If so, tell us who you're looking for and connect with them in the comments. So I will just throw it out there that if you are watching this and you are a writer, if you have an author tube channel, go ahead and put a link down to it below because I'd love to check you out. I also just wanna say that if you are on Twitter or Instagram, definitely also leave a link down below so I can go follow you and you can follow me on all of my social media because I really want to just support and encourage you and to be there to answer any questions that I can about writing and publication. So yeah, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. And the last question, what are you most excited for during this new fresh start on AuthorTube? I am looking forward to just having more updates about like where I am in my journey, but then also I'm really looking forward to 
all of the new channels that will be forming as a means of AuthorTube growing and expanding because I think what it really comes down to is we need to focus on the fact that we are all writers. We're all here, we understand what it's like to be writers and we need to be supporting and encouraging one another. So I'm really looking forward to the growth of AuthorTube. And again, if you have a channel, thinking about having a channel, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so that is it. Those are all the questions for the new AuthorTube Newbie Tag 2.0. I will have all of the questions down below. So consider yourself officially tagged. If you're going to be revamping your channel or you're starting a new channel, do this tag and also make sure that you leave a link down below so I can check out your channel. Want to give a huge shout out to Jenna Stree for making this whole thing and just being there with the AuthorTube community. You are awesome. Make sure you guys go follow her. I will have a link down below, like I said, so you could check her out because she is also an awesome writer who has wonderful tips and tricks. And then she also has a lot of comedy sketches and she's awesome. So go check her out. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos that I post on Fridays. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, an awesome week, and until next video, bye!